Hello, and welcome to Asterisk Live. My name is Billy Chia, and I'm excited for this special edition of Asterisk Live, which is the Astrocon Hackathon edition. So today we have multiple special guests with us to talk about uh, hacking and building cool software things at Astrocon this year. We have with us uh, Matt Jordan, who is the engineering lead for Asterisk. Matt, uh, welcome to the show. Good to be here. And uh, also Michael Spiceland, who is the engineering lead for Respoke. Michael? Hello. Good to have you. And also Keith Casey, who is the director of product, coming to us from uh, Austin, Texas, representing Clarify. Hello, guys. And uh, I'm excited to have all three of you guys on the show today just to talk a little bit about, um, you know, what kind of uh, things can you do with your particular uh, product or API and uh, what would people like to do with them in a hackathon. So given that most of our folks are the most familiar with Asterisk, uh, we'll start, Michael, with you talking about Respoke. Michael, can you just tell our audience a little bit about Respoke and what they might want to uh, know or use it for in an in a eight-hour hackathon? Sure. Uh, so uh, Respoke is an API and service, and we are making it easy for web and mobile developers to add real-time communications to their apps. So if you have a web app, you can include our JavaScript library and place real-time audio, video calls, and text messaging, and more. Um, and the same, and we have uh, mobile um, SDKs in the works as well. Uh, and so, uh, for participants in the hackathon, um, I suggest uh, uh, the first place to start is our quick start guide. It should lead you through and uh, referencing the script tag, and uh, in order to be able to use our library and place a uh, audio and video call. Okay, and this is uh, in the browser, right? So if I'm typically building a, a web app that would run a client side in a browser, this is what I would use a uh, Respoke to do that type of uh, audio and video for. It is, and to, and to get a little bit geeky, uh, uh, it uses WebRTC um, and also WebSockets to be able to uh, pull it off. Okay, and I might be able to build some type of a chat application as well. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, Keith, can you tell us a little bit about uh, just what Clarify does and maybe what some folks would want to build in a hackathon? Sure. Uh, Clarify is a self-service API that makes audio and video searchable. So you give us a URL to your audio and video file. We use automatic speech recognition and natural language processing to listen to what's actually said in the file. And then we give you a search index on top of that. So you, now you can search against those files and find down to the millisecond where every keyword is said. So uh, people are using us for all kinds of things, analyzing call recordings. I know Asterisk has a, a great API for recording calls and doing things like that. I think that's a great option. Uh, Respoke, hopefully you guys are going to implement recording, and that would be fantastic, and we'd make that searchable. Uh, so the, I think there's a lot of options available that people could do with it. So the idea is, uh, as a developer, I just feed you an audio stream, and you can do all the processing and send that that search. Info I can search my audio. Yes, yeah, it's not an audio stream. It's a, a finished file. Okay. So it's a like taking the recording after the call is done. So imagine, uh, for example, this recording itself. We could go ahead and we could search and find every mention of the word respoke uh, throughout the entire file down to the millisecond, every instance that shows up. And so I, I could send to clarify uh, any type of format, like a wave or something like that. Yeah, wave, MP3. If you want to go uh, MOV, WMV, we've got, a, I think, seven different formats we support. Um, most of the audio formats and a good number of the video formats, too. Okay, very awesome. And Matt, can you tell us just uh, what's going on with Asterisk these days, and what are you looking for uh, in, the, in the hackathon? What kinds of pe things can people do with Asterisk in the hackathon? So with Asterisk, we've been focused very heavily on the past two years on API development. And uh, coming up very soon, we'll have the full supported, the, <laughs> we'll have the full release of Asterisk 13, which is the next LTS version of Asterisk. And that's going to feature predominantly the Asterisk REST interface, which is a RESTful API for building your own communications applications using Asterisk. Asterisk has long been the Swiss army knife of telephony, but this is really opening up Asterisk and the communications capabilities inside of a Asterisk to a much larger audience. So using some of the Clarify API sort of an, as, as an example, like you were saying, Keith, uh, you could take uh, ARI and use a channel that uh, was talking to a phone or to some other endpoint 
um, record the call, finish the recording, and then pass that off to Clarify. And we're, we'd be using that all through a language of the developer's choice, because you can do all these things now through a REST API using Asterisk just as a media engine, and then doing a mashup with other types of APIs and other kinds of um, cool applications. One of the things that um, I kind of played together just using one of the APIs recently was to do a geo lookup uh, of the participants that were entering into a conference so I could take their IP address and then use another service and get back the IP address and then display that on a little text message window and things. So being able to take the power of Asterisk and mash it up with other types of services is one of the really cool things that ARI affords you. Um, there's a lot of really great places on the Asterisk wiki to go find documentation about that. So that's wiki.asterisk.org. Um, and a lot of members of the Asterisk development team have been hard at work actually putting examples of these applications up on GitHub, on github.com slash asterisk. So really looking forward to what people can do with all of these things at the, at the hackathon. It should be really, really exciting, really fun. Yeah, definitely. GitHub.com slash asterisk. I've uh, seen some of the work in uh, libraries that I've gone up there. Is uh, is your application that does the geolocation, is that available on GitHub? Uh, it is, but in a very strange place. So we were um, collaborating with that. Josh, Joshua Culp and I were collaborating with that before the VUC, which is where we played around with that. Um, and so I threw it up on GitHub, but I actually threw it up underneath my name, like in this random strange repository buried underneath peat moss someplace. So um, <laughs> it's there. Uh, I, it's, but it, again, if you Google very quickly for uh, an IP address lookup service, you'll find that there's a ton of Rust APIs that have that. Uh, and uh, a number of the channel driver functions have the ability, such as the PJSIP one, which is new also in Asterisk 13, um, have the ability to give you back the address of the thing that connected to you. So that's, that's what we did for that. Okay. Um, well, I'll have to uh, link it in the show notes. <laughs> yeah, I probably should put that someplace smarter than, you know, my personal repo in something that doesn't make any sense. It was a very quick, you know, here, Josh, here it is. Go take a look at that. Well, and I, I know that we also have a, uh, uh, a few sample apps and things up on the Respoke repo. And then up for Clarify, you guys uh, have some, some uh, sample code people can go look at? Yeah, absolutely. At uh, github.com slash clarify, uh, you can find helper libraries in PHP. Python. Uh, so we've got some of the major bases covered. We're working on a Java one right now. I don't think it's going to be ready for Astrocon, uh, but we'll push to see what we can do there. And then we've got sample audio and video players. So once you've got that, that file that, um, that Matthew was talking about, being able to make that searchable, we'll provide a player on top of that. So you can go ahead and see little time habitual words show up in your search results. It's pretty cool stuff. Very nice. Well, I uh, want to encourage everyone who's uh, watching the video Register to come to Astrocon. We're less than two weeks away. Uh, register on the challenge post for the Astrocon Hackathon, where you can try out all of this uh, great technology. And uh, be sure to show up uh, Tuesday night, right after Astro DevCon. We'll be doing a little bit of a, a reception where you can do a meet and greet, get together, meet your team members, and uh, get all the info you need for the next day. And then we'll have uh, eight hours of hacking and a lot of cool prizes. So, uh, Matt, Keith, and Michael, I want to say uh, thank you guys for uh, joining the show today. Yeah, thanks, Billy, and I look forward to meeting all the people at the Hackathon. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to Astrocon. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot, Billy. Cool, and uh, everyone just have an excellent day today. Thanks.